Guess who's back? Back again. Rachel! Rachel, Rachel, Rachel is back! Hi, Rachie! I've been waiting for you! Rachie's getting a brand new set. We're going to do a medium length coffin. That's right, I said medium length. And if you don't agree that that's a medium length, well, that's just going to be okay. We're going to do 100% acetone to blend in those tips. We're going to get some fresh liquid, some fresh powder. CND, of course. We're going to dig out the fall leaves. You're up, Mr. Fall Leaves. Haven't seen you since last fall. So we're going to need our clear because we're going to do some encapsulation. Oh, kazaa. And I got that loose glitter mix that I had made myself. Tap, tap. Oh. Do you hear me hit that note, you guys? Now, I'm trying to brew a cup of coffee, but this stupid Keurig always needs more water. Add water, add water. So tired of it. We're going to go ahead and put a little bit of acrylic down on the nail first so I have a wet surface to stick these leaves to. We're also going to add in some of the glitter. I'm, I built it up with the pink acrylic, and then I'm going to encapsulate with clear acrylic. Excuse me while I fill up my Keurig so I can have some coffee before my next friend gets here. I'm just going to dab some glitter around in the empty spots. And then I'm going to add a little bit more product and then put leaves on top of that some more. Because if you, if you put the leaves down, right, and then you put a little bit of clear acrylic on top of those and then you add some more on top of those, it gives it this layered 4D look when you're all done and you, you have your shiny top coat on there. It just looks like layers of leaves and it's really, really cool. Just keep in mind, don't do too many layers because you don't want it to be too thick because you you have to take into consideration as well that you're going to be encapsulating with more clear acrylic so you don't want the nail super thick so when you're over filing you're actually filing the damn product away you know what i mean so after i move on and do the acrylic on the other nails i'll come back after this has had time to set and dry and i will encapsulate it so let's do it black ocean it's your turn we're going to do two coats of black and on the index finger, I'm just going to come down to where the leaves are on the corner. So I'm going to use my striping brush to get me started here. So that way when I take my brush back up to the cuticle and pull it down, I have an ending point and I don't have to worry about going over top of where I don't want the black paint. Does that make sense? Am I talking too much? Sorry. Matte top coat. Hello. So first I did a clear top coat, you guys, to encase those diamonds and stuff to give myself a smooth surface. Then I went back with the matte top coat. And here is the final look. Welcome back, Rachie. Missed you.